Hi, I am going to go over the difference between a short back cross carry and a half Jordan's back carry. They're both very similar carries with one small change. Both can be done with a size 2 and up. I'm going to use a size 3 and demonstrate with my 25 pound one and a half year old who is a little bit grumpy right now, so patience. So first, you can do this starting on uh, tying on either shoulder. Um, I'm going to tie on my right hand shoulder. So with a size 3, I know I'm going to let it hang down to about uh, the top of my thigh. And then reach back and where the middle of my back is, um, is about where I'm going to start on her back. Um, you should only do this carry if you're already comfortable with back carries. Um, since it is a little bit advanced. I'm going to get her up on my back using a Superman toss. Um, and to do that, if she's standing in front of you facing forward, the short side should be on the same side that you want it to be on after you're done wrapping. So, toss her up. Hopefully she's not too grumpy. And the short side goes over your shoulder. Make sure you get a good seat. I have Yo Gabba Gabba on to distract her. So tuck it up so that you have a nice good seat between the two of you. Should go as much from knee to knee as possible. And this side, if it's long enough, you can tuck it between your legs if you're using a three. If you're using a two, you might not be able to. So this other side, goes under your arm for both carries. If you're doing the half Jordan's back carry, and also make sure you keep your top rail tight and hold on to baby's butt. If you're doing the half Jordan's back carry, you'll continue from here. If you're doing short back cross carry, you actually tuck under the leg, and it will fall down on their back a little bit, but you'll um, correct that in the next step, so it's okay. I prefer half Jordan's back carry though because it does Keep the wrap up higher on baby's back. So I'm going to continue with that one. So short back cross carry under the leg, half Jordan's back carry over the leg. Same exact from here on though. So under the leg, pull those rails tight, and that just flips over my shoulder. Grab whichever side of the wrap find first, and cross in back of you and pull to the other side. You might need to fix your shoulder as you go along, kind of pull it back up. So pull, strand by strand, until you've got it nice and tight. You can tuck it up under their butt a little bit. And then once you've got it there, it will go under their leg, and that's the same for both carries. So from here, if you're using a two or you just don't have enough tail left to do anything else, you can tie it off here, either just a double knot or a slip knot, whichever works for you. Since I'm using a three, I have enough length to do a chest belt, so I'm going to do a candy cane chest belt. That helps um, load a little bit of the weight on your chest so it's not all on your shoulders. So just twist, nothing too fancy. And then it goes through the other shoulder. Pull it through and then double knot. So that's it. If you do a chest belt, that also allows you to cap the shoulders which helps spread the weight over your shoulders more. Um, so that's it, half Jordan's back carry and short back cross carry is the same exact thing except when you're doing that rebozo pass you tuck it under the leg instead of going over. So again, I prefer Jordan's because it gets higher up on their back. The only bad thing about it is it can make their legs a little bit uneven Sometimes the leg that doesn't have that second pass going up under it will be a little bit lower, um, and that doesn't happen with short back cross carry. 
but it's not as high up on their back. So it's just whatever is more comfortable for you. Um, and if you can get a chest doll out of it, that should make things more comfortable. So this is Half Jordan's back carry in a size three with a one and a half year old. Thanks.